I have a Word document here. I'd like users to fill it in as a PDF. So I'm going to convert this to a PDF initially. I can do that a number of ways. I could use the file menu to print to PDF. Because we've got Acrobat installed on this computer, I could use the Acrobat tab to create a PDF, and that's what I'm going to do. It'll ask me to save it. It's creating that, and there it is there. Now the other way I could have created this is to open Acrobat, and under the File menu, Open, and Open All Files, and I could have opened that conference doc there. So here's my PDF, and it's ready for me to turn this into a form. There's a number of ways I can do it. I'm going to use the Prepare Form option. I don't want to scan a document, and I am going to use this form, not change a different file. Now what Acrobat's done is it's identified everywhere there was a line and it said, oh, that probably needs to be a form field. I'll undo moving those there. And it's tried to fill it out for me. It's named these form fields for me, sponsorship level. This is poorly named. Why don't I rename that ABN for a business number? And I don't need a tooltip there. This company, undefined, why don't I call that company? Now, this name on the program here, I will put a tooltip here. And I'll say name exactly as to appear on the program. Now I don't want the company to be able to fill this form in and send it back to me without this being named. So let's have a look at some of the options here. I'm going to say this is a required field. The name on the program, I'll do the same. And you'll notice that now that field is red. The sponsorship level ABN, I'll call this add one and add two and I'll make each of those required. Now this postcode field here we only want numbers in that postcode field so if I double click that I can tell it to be a number. Now I'm going to choose a number and not a zip code Zip code is American, it takes five digits. So under this number option, I'm going to tell it to have no decimal places and the separator style, I don't want any commas or full stops or anything like that. So I'm going to choose that and because we've got no decimal places, that'll be all right. And there's an example of the formatting. Now under state, I don't want that to be a text box. I want that to be a drop-down field that they can drop something in. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to insert from here. I'm going to add a drop-down list. And I'm going to pop it on the page here. I'm going to call it state. And I'll go to all the properties. It's called state. And I'll put a tooltip in here. Enter your state or type. Of course, it's going to be visible. I don't want it to be read-only. I want the text to be going sideways at zero degrees. And by default, they have to type something in this box, so using that required field is really not important. Under Appearance, I'm going to leave it as, as, as white for the fill colour and have no border. The position, that's OK. I'll change the position later, but here's my options. So I'm going to put New South Wales, and I'll click Add. I can't press Enter. I'll type Vic. Now, if I hold the Alt key down, you can see the little line under the A there. 
So I can hold the Alt key down and hit A, and now my cursor's in the right place. So SA, Alt A, WA, and I'll add these states. And you can see I've added all the states here and territories. Now if I choose New South Wales in this list, this light globe here is telling me that by default that will be showing. What if somebody skips this? That means they'll have chosen New South Wales and maybe they're from another uh, state. So why don't I sort these items? I'm going to allow users to enter custom text. I'm going to add another item here and I'm going to say choose one or type. I'll add that and now I'm going to move this up. I'll uncheck that box, move it up and now choose one or type is going to be the default item but the rest of them are in alphabetical order. I'm happy with that now so I'll close this. Let's have a quick preview. You can see choose one's not long enough. I'll just quickly make this box a little bit wider. Preview and now they can choose one of those and that's exactly as I want. Now I'm not really happy, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm not really happy with the way that these aren't lined up. So using this tool, I'll go back to edit, I'll use my select tool and I'll say these here I want them to line up. I'll line them up on the left. I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard to move those over a bit if I want. You can see here I, I should have made that line a little bit smaller. It's a bit untidy. I can do the same with these fields as well. One of the good things I can do is choose this and I can copy it and now I can paste it and delete this one. If I put that there and rename this one state2 because this one was called state because I copied it I need to do that. You can see this one's postcode2. I'll tidy these up now the reason they defaulted to the left then was because when I highlighted them this one was selected. So this is like the parent and they're all going to line up on the parent. If I wanted them to line up on this one I could select them, hold the shift key down and select that. And now they're all still highlighted but this is the parent. So if I was to line them all up on that one you can see what that has done there. I have a few more things to go on this form. You can see there's a statement that I agree to the conditions on page one. I need to put a checkbox here. In the properties I'm going to say that this is required and similarly I need another checkbox here and it's going to be the same. In the properties I'm going to say you have to check that box because I want them to make sure that they do know that they're authorised to make that decision. Let's preview this form now. So I could type my company name there, the name exactly it is on the program here. So this is all working sponsorship level and they know what that means but that could have been a drop down for instance if it was gold or platinum. The ABN, I'll go back to the editing and I'll say the ABN number I want that to be a number and I don't want it to have any separators at all and no decimal places. We're not going to go into the digital signatures in this tutorial. So my form is finished. 
I can save that, either File Save here, or there's the Save option just here.